let's continue to add some more non block blocks. All right, friends, that's back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue our saga of adding the non block blocks, as I like to call them. And this will include stairs, slabs, a door, and a trapdoor. So for those, we're actually once again going to go into our mod blocks class and we will need some more custom classes, sadly. So in our custom package, right click a new Java class called the mod stairs block. This is, of course, going to extend the stairs block. And we'll just hover over this, create constructor matching super, and changing the axis modifier to public here. Then another custom class, and that's going to be the mod door block. This will extend the door block. Who could have guessed? And let's create constructor matching super, and once again also make it public. And then last but not least, the mod trap door block as well, which will extend the trap door block class. And we'll hover over this and change the constructor to public. Once again, we never need to look at any of those classes ever again. And let's just take the wall and copy it over four times. So we're going to have a mithril slab. And this is going to be called mithril slab. And this is going to be a slab block. The settings here should be fine. This is going to be the mithril stairs. And same here, mithril stairs. There you go. And then this is going to be the mod stairs block. Now this actually takes in two parameters. The first one is mod blocks dot mithril block dot get default state. I'm not 100% sure why it needs default state of the block that it's made out of, but it just is what it is. So that's fine. We're just going to supply that. And then we're going to have a block that's the Kalpen underscore door actually. So we're going to have a custom door that's pretty cool. So Kalpen door and this is going to be a mod door block. There you go. And here it's very important if we choose material.metal, then this door can only be opened with redstone. If we make this wood, then it can be opened with right clicking. So we're going to make this wood. And we'll also add the non opaque right here. That's actually very important to add as well. So this uh, method here, because we're going to have inside of the door, well, actually textures, there are alpha values inside of the texture. Therefore, we have to add the non opaque. And then we also have the Kalp underscore trap door. There you go. And this is going to be the Kalp underscore trap door. Same here. This is going to be, of course, the mod trap door block. And this will also be wood. And this will also have the non opaque. There you go. All four blocks registered and the block class is done as well. And now, of course, the most interesting stuff, once again, the JSON files. So let's first of all add the translation, just so that we have it out of the way. Once again, of course, everything here available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. So no worries at all. You can get everything there. So we're going to get all of this, the count door and this. So this is all of the JSON files for the block states. So you can see, once again, we have different variants depending on all of the different block state properties that those have. So you can see the door, the trap door. There's actually quite a few of them. You can see the door actually has 124 lines. And I believe the stairs might be the ones that are longest. Yeah, this one has 209, as you can see, because we have four. Actually, we only have three different well, block state properties. However, I believe that the thing is that they can take a lot of different values. That's why there's so many of them. So yeah, like I said, we've already seen this. If you are not too familiar with this, I have basically explained a lot of this in detail in the last tutorial. So highly recommend checking that out if you have not seen it. So that's pretty, yeah, well, major. And well, they simply point to different models when different block state properties put in or have different values. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over all of the well, different block model JSON files that we're going to need. And is actually going to be quite a few of them once more. So this should be, yeah, this is 12 of them. And these, however, are very straightforward and not really interesting at all. They always just have a different parent. So you can see what's interesting in the door, however, is that we actually have a top and a bottom texture. This is, of course, because the door has two blocks that are associated with it, right? So it's two blocks high. Therefore, we need two different textures, one for the top and one for the bottom. And the rest really very uninteresting, just different parents, as you can see. So once again, can highly recommend either copying it over from here or going down to the external libraries all the way right here to the Minecraft project assets 
Minecraft. And then, for example, in the models block folder, you can see all of this is in here. So we can see Acacia trapdoor, just pretty much looking exactly the same. We can also have the Acacia door at the top here, as you can see, bottom hinge looks pretty much exactly the same. So once again, all of this is also available to you in the external libraries. Best, one of the best resources that you can have, basically. And then let's also copy over the item models. Now those are, once again, actually fairly straightforward, all things considered. So we also have the Kalpen door and Kalpen trap door. The only interesting thing here is probably going to be the Kalpen door one, because the door for this is actually going to have a specific texture, as you can see. So this actually has an item texture associated with it, because of course the door is not, you know, in 3D in your inventory, but it actually is just a normal texture. So here we're going to need the door bottom, door top, and the Kalpen trap door textures. And for the stairs and the slabs, we don't need anything because that takes the texture from a mithril block. And we're also going to need the Kalpen door item texture. There you go. But we are not done just yet because, interestingly enough, the door and the trap door need one more thing, which is very interesting. Now, this is extremely important that you add this, so do not skip this step. Very important. This is also important for all of future, let's say, non-block blocks that we want to add. So anything that might be transparent or that is not going to be, that has alpha values associated with it. In the tutorial mod package, right click new Java class, and this is going to be the tutorial client mod. Now this will implement the client mod initializer, and we're just going to hover over this implement methods, and that is going to be the on initialize client method. Now in here, we need to supply block render layer map dot instance put block, and then we're just going to say mod blocks dot door render layer dot get cutout exactly this we're just going to duplicate this pressing control d and then here we're going to say trap door now this we're not done just yet because we actually need to define this tutorial client mod inside of the fabric mod json file right here so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over this main point here and changing this to client and then here tutorial client mod so this name needs to be the same as the name of this class and then, of course, the actual structure here just has to match where this actual class is located in your package structure. So this is extremely important. Do not skip this. You have to do this. Otherwise, they will not be displayed properly. And this is also going to be true for stuff like in the future for the leaves and, you know, any transparent block basically as well. So that's very important. You need to add this. But that is actually all of the things that we need to add to, well, add our custom blocks. So let's see if it works. All right, friends, so back in Minecraft. As you can see, everything has been added successfully. We have the stairs, we have the slabs, and the really cool Kalpen door and the Kalpen trap door as well. And, I mean, this one is just really cool. I, I really like it. You can see, that's going to be, you know, the new door to my office 100%. I'm just going to recreate this in the real world because that just looks absolutely freaking amazing. Right, and that's actually how easy it is to add the slabs, stairs, doors, and trap doors to Minecraft. And this will also conclude this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.